What's up guys? Now, as you can probably tell by the title of this video, um, yes, I did in fact trade in my Camaro. This is not clickbait, this is the honest to God truth. I traded in my Camaro. Right now I'm in my girlfriend's car, um, the Jeep Compass. So this isn't what I purchased right now, but I just thought I should do a video first of all explaining why I traded in the Camaro. Nothing to do with uh, the Camaro, you know, drivability and daily driving aspects of it. I really did like it. Um, it's just certain situations changed and I just needed something different. So I want to make sure I say that first. It's not because of what the Camaro offered. That's not the reason why I traded it, it in. I think I got a pretty good deal. We talked down the people and uh, we went back and forth and, uh, you know, I got a fair price for it towards what I wanted to get. I'm happy with the deal, the way everything turned out. But yeah, I wanted to say I did trade in the Camaro. And I thought I should give my final thoughts on what it was like owning that Camaro. Um, you know, if you guys don't know, it was a 2012 Camaro RS 1LT with the manual transmission. Um, I've had the car was, I don't know how many months? Around 10 months, I think it, think it was. Around 10 or 11 months. It was close to a year, not quite a year. But I will say with my time of ownership with that vehicle, um, I did bond with it more than I expected myself to bond with it. Um, you know, I think it was a good daily driver for the time being of what I needed it to do. It was, you know, a quick car that I could drive, uh, you know, back and forth to work. It got pretty decent gas mileage out of it. And, uh, you know, it was my first manual transmission car. So it was something that I could learn manual transmission on and, uh, you know, for that, I thought it was a good car. Um, didn't have any problems with it. You know, the thing started up, ran, it literally, I did, did nothing to it in my time of, of ownership. I got rid of the car, I believe it had around 68,000 miles on it. I bought it when I think it had around 52 or maybe 54, somewhere in that range. So I did put some miles on the car. Um, I put a, a lot of miles on the car, you know, for that short amount of time. So overall though, the car did drive well. I did like the car for what it was. Um, I did a lot of videos on the visibility of the Camaro, the gas economy, you know, daily driving it, the trunk space, uh, the five things I loved, the five things I hated. Um, you know, so I did a lot of things with that car. I made a lot of videos on it, um, you know, but it was just time to move on. I think when I first bought it, I knew that that wasn't going to be my end result car and that wasn't going to be my, you know, car that I was going to have forever, if that makes sense. I also did videos about driving that car in the snow and uh, you know just what it was like having that car. I would say anyone that's looking for a Camaro to be their daily driver, if it's just you, if you're like single, you and your wife and you don't have kids, I think it makes a pretty good vehicle. Uh, I mean, some of the major drawbacks is you know just the back seats really. If you have to carry people or carry things, you really can't do that with that car. But hopefully you wouldn't know that going into it, that you're not going to be expecting to put you know kids or people in the back seat and have them sit comfortably as long as you know that then the car makes a great daily driver but yeah i thought i should at least make a video just giving my final thoughts on the camaro and you know what i thought of it before i get into what i bought next and why i bought the other car and you know all the needs and everything that i needed the other car to do but don't get me wrong i'm still gonna make videos on the new car and i think you guys are gonna like it um I'll give you a hint though, it is rear wheel drive, it's another V6, and I don't know, I'm trying to think of another clue without giving it fully away, and I think most of the people that are interested in the Camaro, they're going to be interested in this car as well, so I'll leave you guys with that hint. That's all I'm going to say for right now. Overall, the Camaro, it was a great car. Um, I loved the colors. I did a couple of things to it to make it my own. I blacked out the emblems. I put some stickers on the back, uh, debadged the back and everything like that. And by the way, I did keep those debadged back, like the back emblems. I kept those. I'm going to keep those. Um, so, you know, I can always have a keepsake about the car. But overall, I thought the car was a great car. Um, it's just situation changed and I needed something different. Um, you know, I needed something to serve a different purpose than what the Camaro could do. Um, but overall, like I'm saying, if you're single, if it's just you and your girlfriend, you, you and your wife, and you don't really need to carry a lot of people or carry a lot of things, I think the Camaro makes a great car. And uh, 
yeah if you're really looking for one i would say look around you can find pretty good deals like especially on the v6s they're really not that expensive at all you can really find pretty good prices for them um they look like the ss and when people see them out in the street they really don't know the, the difference so you know you will get a lot of looks of people telling you that the car looks good so that is a good positive thing if you're looking for that so hopefully guys with those hints you'll be interested in the next car that i'm going to be talking about and my next vehicle i want to just really share that whole experience with you guys as well but uh thank you guys so much for watching this video if you like this video give me a like check out some of the other videos that i've done i've done a lot of other videos on my girlfriend's car and on my past camaro and on my past cars that i've had in the past so if you like this type of stuff check out my channel i'll see you guys in the next video see ya